Hi everyone, and welcome to the July edition of Columbia Monthly. I'm William Mattered. The summer season is officially upon us. After working hard, it's time to relax and take a trip to that exotic place that you've been thinking about all year. However, that dream trip could turn into a nightmare if you go unprepared. Hi, my name is Jack, and I'm happy to be here. Your passport, please? Oh, yes, um, my passport, please. Where's your visa? Visa? No. <laughs> I pay cash. If you're taking a trip to another country, there's a good chance that you might have to use some English. So it's a good idea to learn something useful before you leave your house for your next adventure. Your first chance to speak English will probably occur when you arrive at an international airport in a foreign country. Your first stop will be at customs. You'll probably hear, Your passport, please! Or, May I have your passport, please? To which you may reply, Here it is. Or, Saying nothing works too. Make sure you have a visa in your passport before you leave your country. In some countries, the customs officer might ask you more questions, such as... Do you like Lady Gaga? Well, maybe not that question. What is the purpose of your visit? Now, make sure you have the right answer to this question. I don't know. I, I forgot. What do you think? Traveling. Okay, you got that right, but there might be more questions. Do you have anything to declare? I don't know any clear. How about this deer? I've got some ham. I mean ham. No. Enjoy your stay. Being in a foreign country presents you with a unique opportunity to learn new things. Here are a few phrases that we will call communication tools that can help you to explore the new world. If you don't understand something, don't pretend. What is wrong with you? Do you know where you are? Get out of here! Oh, uh, I see your point. Yes? No. I'm sorry, I don't understand. And you may add... Could you repeat that, please? I said you are in the bathroom for women! Another great question you can use to learn new things is... Hey, what do you call this in English? We call it moose dropping, son. What? Ugh. Now let's repeat what we've learned. When you don't understand, you say... I don't understand. When you would like to hear something one more time, you say... Oh, could you repeat that, please? To learn a new word... <gasps> How do you say that in English? Learning a few useful phrases might save you from a ton of problems while traveling. So don't be afraid to use English. Learn from your mistakes, correct yourself, and practice, practice, practice. See you next time on Bon Voyage. Uh, sorry, sir, is this a snake? Snake? You should go to the zoo to get that. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant snack. Hi. Hello, everyone. This year, we will bring you a series of exciting educational activities. Because we believe that the best way to improve English is through exploring new foods. Yes. Like our six-week exercise program, in addition to many exercise activities and exercise exercises, we also bring in five new exercises. Come on, let's go. I want to see. The content of the exciting content has been edited and uploaded on the YouTube and YouTube channel. Welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see our latest videos. Summer is the season of travel, and I'm sure many people have planned to go abroad. Just like the Good Wayland Festival, there are some key points that you need to know before you go abroad. If you have already prepared to go abroad, please make sure you know the local culture and food. Oh, if you want to know more about the United States, this year will be a great chance to meet with the Ghost of Columbia and the Ghost of Columbia. 这个月会有很棒的机会与哥伦比亚一起体验美国的国庆日。对呀、啊。
七月四号在台中金国绿园道举办了一场圆游会，欢迎大家来哥伦比亚的摊位跟我们一起吃出一口好英文。可爱的学生们，我们也准备好要跟你们一起度过一个开心的暑假喽！学生们最喜欢暑假的时光，因为他们可以规划新的活动，学习新的事物。想出国又不想出国吗？不，这一点也不矛盾，因为哥伦比亚的这次暑假带你认识各国好玩的文化。餐饮的活动日期从七月五号到八月十三号，时间从十二点半到五点，年龄从十三到十七。第一个礼拜是美国，第二礼拜是英国，第三个礼拜是南非。除了精彩的夏令营之外，哥伦比亚这个月准备了很多老少咸宜的活动哦。对呀、啊，很多人都在问说要如何有效率的学习英文。如果你也在思考这个问题，千万别错过我们顾问 Sergey 为大家准备的新讲座。这个月哥伦比亚首创一个用英文学瑜伽的主题式课程，不简单哎！哥伦比亚连瑜伽顾问都有。是啊，赶快跟我们优雅的 Jacqueline 一起用英文学瑜伽吧！哦，我超爱这个顾问的。那你真是赚到喽！我们钟明跟崇德都有。说到运动，我想大家最近都有在看世足吧？意大利的球员超帅的，我每天都支持你在电视前面。哎<笑>、欸、，Josh， 你支持哪一队啊？嗯，我喜欢德国。Go Germany！ 嗯呃，我想问你一个问题哦，那个有时候球员会拿到黄卡跟红卡，那跟绿卡有什么不一样啊？啊、哦，你不懂啦，足球赛里面没有绿卡这种东西，好不好？如果你想要知道更多足球的内容。你一定要参加 s h a n 和 Joshua 的非法世足讲座哦！哎，你知道吗？除了世界杯以外，还有一个很大的活动正在中国举办哦。对啊，超想去看世博的哦。想知道更多的话，顾问 Henning 有我们客户准备了很多有趣的内容哦。时间是七月二九、十六、二三、三十号，在我们的中明 Branch。每次我在看一些外国电影的时候，常听到很多的笑点，可是我都不觉得好笑，甚至有些笑点我觉得粉嫩哎。其实英文是说 dry 不是 cold， 外国笑话不好笑是因为不同国家文化，当然幽默感也会不同啊。你不觉得去了解别人的幽默感是很重要的吗？嗯，可以让彼此之间更亲近。Of course， 也就是为什么 g o o n Team 帮大家准备了一个英文幽默的内容，带我们了解干幽默。嘿妹，希望他能帮助我了解这干妹妹的干幽默。很冷哎、欸、，very dry。哎，你知道人家说从兴趣中学习是最乐此不疲的。嗯，没错。那你知道时下最受年轻人热爱的是什么吗？嗯，我不知道哎、欸，是做功课吗？是线上游戏啦。虽然花太多时间黏在电脑前不太好，但你还是可以从这爱好中学习到新的事物哦。真的假的？那也太酷了吧！是啊，赶快去参加 Andrew 跟 Joshua 的线上游戏课程吧！更多关于哥伦比亚的精彩活动内容，播零八零零零三二零二零，或上我们的网站 triple w dot columbia dot com dot t w。Go Germany！